Hi there, my name is Michael Wharton and I'm a director and principal machine learning engineer at Kung Fu AI. And today I'm gonna to be telling you a little bit about an offering we have called DocGPT. DocGPT is really a suite of capabilities that we've developed over the last five years working with a lot of NLP projects. Um, we've also taken into account some of the recent advances that you've all heard about with uh, LLMs. So DocGPT allows you to look at a corpus of documents you might have a lot of companies that we work with have you know, millions, if not tens of millions of documents. You know, we want you to be able to look at those documents and ask questions and get answers in a timely manner that don't require you to you know, write some crazy algorithm or hire an army of interns to, to go comb through that for you. Um, so I have a little toy data set put together here of a bunch of 10K forms. Those are SEC filings that happen at the end of the year that just indicate a little bit about the financial health of businesses. And I have them for five big companies. It's like we got Alphabet, Coke, Goldman Sachs, Johnson & Johnson, and Tesla. So these documents range from about 100 pages to about 800. And in total, there are, you know, there are thousands of pages in this uh, example here. It's all really dense, kind of hard to sift through, but it's got a lot of really important information, especially if you are in the financial services industry and you, you do a lot of research with these documents. So what we're going to do is go ahead and use this doc GPT engine to ask some questions. I'm going to go ahead and just let them ask it in the background and we can talk to the answers as they come up. First one is just which company was the most profitable in 2020 and what was the revenue for that year? If you're a financial analyst, you might be interested in that. Uh, and it looks like it came out with 2020. It was Alphabet Inc. Total revenues of $182.5 billion. I happen to know that that is true. And the next runner up was Johnson and Johnson at around 80 billion. And um, it actually makes sense that a tech company would be kind of thriving in 2020 because you know, a lot of the more in-person businesses weren't quite prepared for the pandemic. And speaking of the pandemic, ask this other question here, how did the tone change across all companies between 2019 and 2020? And that was when the pandemic really ramped up and you know, we all have personal experiences with that, that um, you know, a lot of cases were not so great. So the tone across all companies changed from one of cautious optimism and financial stability in 2019 to one of caution and preparedness and optimism in 2020. You know, we're seeing companies slow down their investments and office facilities makes total sense. Um, taking measures to support their customers, workforce and communities. We saw a lot of charity, a lot of giving companies really trying to look out for their employees there. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that tracks with intuition there. This one's just a really simple one. Just who was the CEO at Alphabet in 2022? And that one is correct as well. Um, keep in mind what this is doing in the background is something called retrieval augmentation, where we're you know, relying on LLMs to go look at this massive amount of information, filter it down to what's relevant, and then precisely analyze those little bits that are left over. Um, and this last one here is just name the most financial regulation, excuse me, name the most disruptive financial regulation in recent years and which company was the most impacted. And it's saying that that was the Volcker rule, which limits the ability of banks to engage in certain types of speculative investments that don't benefit their customers. And of course, Goldman Sachs was the one that was most impacted. Um, that one there in particular was part of the Dodd-Frank Act that came out in, as a response to the 2009 housing crisis. So, you know, it makes total sense that a financial institution would be pretty impacted by that. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And please reach out to us if you'd like to learn more. Thanks.